So a scale drawing and similar figure. We're going to set up proportions or ratios. We're looking to see You have to identify, refocus. You have to identify what matches. Give her her glasses back. And come sit here. You have to identify what matches, and this is the hardest part. Because sometimes the shapes aren't facing the same way. If they are similar figures, we need them to face the same direction. So sometimes you have to turn things in your head. Similar figures. Similar figures have the same shape. It means that their angles are the same. But they're different sizes. One's small and one's bigger. For example, this triangle, now it's not going to be perfect because I'm not a robot, and this triangle are similar because they're both the same type of triangle. They're both right triangles. They're both right scalene triangles. Just one is smaller and one is larger. These are similar. These are not similar. Do you see the difference between things that are similar and things that are not similar? Mm -hmm. Even though they're both triangles, they don't have the same angle. This top angle is much skinnier, smaller than this top angle. So you have to first, which most of the time they're going to be, but you have to first determine, are they similar? And if they are similar, you can make a proportion. If they are similar, you can create and solve the proportion. If they are similar, you can create and solve a proportion. So if I look at this guy right up here, these similar triangles, and if I told you that this side was four and this side was 1.5, and I said this one was six, can you figure out this guy? Yeah. It's the same thing as what we did yesterday when we set up a proportion. We set up a fraction, a proportion, a rate for the little triangle. 
and we set up a fraction, a proportion, a rate for the big triangle. Just like yesterday when we had those stories and we did the one about the baby elephant and the mama elephant, right? We set up a fraction, a proportion, a rate for one and one for the other. So if I said 1.5 over 4, and I can say 6 over question mark, or x, right? Why did I choose to put them that way? Do you know? So they have to be on the same line. If I started with the vertical side over the diagonal side, when I did this guy, I have to do the vertical side over the diagonal side. Vertical over diagonal, vertical over diagonal. I could have flipped it. You'll get the same answer if you flip flop them. Diagonal over vertical, diagonal over vertical. It doesn't matter. What do I do now? How? Multiply by Cross multiplication. Four times six is? Equals? 1.5 times x is 1.5x. Divide by 1.5, divide by 1.5. What does x equal? Okay. Here's a practice page. Sorry, someone left pink paper in the coffee machine, so. White. Set these up, see if you can do it. And we'll test it. 